I went to the city of Ottawa, or Ottawa, some of you will have me call it. <laughs> Out of curiosity, I stayed in a place called St. Lo Hostel. Fun fact, this place used to be an actual prison for 100 years, from 1870 something year to 1972, yes. Now this is the new entrance. The telephone is from that time and look at the bricks. Oh, they're still very solid. That's the reception. I really didn't know what to expect, but I entered and it was well, modern, different. I signed in, I collected a key fob and then I headed to my room. Look at the gates. I walked into the gates and oh my goodness, I literally could see the souls of the departed. It was eerie, I was hearing the voices. I could imagine them. Okay, let me stop being dramatic. That's my film voice speaking. Now let's go to reality. It was a long walk. No elevators, no lifts. I eventually got to my room after a long walk. <laughs> well, it wasn't what I expected. It was better than what I expected. There were modern doors leading to the bedrooms and there were bunk beds in the rooms. Can you see it? Yes. I took number 77777 seven, seven, seven is a number. Okay. I sat down on the bed and I couldn't even sit up straight. It reminded me of secondary school. Look at the window. No going out through that place. Anyway, the real tour began in the morning. It was fascinating yet troubling to think that, you know, people actually were imprisoned here. Some people died here and some people were eventually set free. This actually was the main entrance in the 1800s. Once those bars shut behind you, oh my goodness, you knew that you were done for. So we moved from here back into the building where the real story began. They made what's called an anti-suicide bar. So when you push someone off the stairs, they land here. So nobody dies. <laughs> so if you want to fight with someone, you push that person off, ah, you will continue the fight too. The person will land on this bar. This was done to safeguard the lives of the prison wardens and the prisoners. I'm in chains, you are in chains too. Our uniforms and you wear uniforms too. This is the kitchen. I remember I had breakfast in the morning. It was okay. While I sat down there, I was wondering what kind of life these people must have lived. Some of the guests were moving around like professional prisoners. Me, I was just thinking. So people were actually here lining up to collect food. And they would lock that door behind. You can imagine those films we used to watch. It's actually true. See the whole setup. Yes, and this is a peephole. The guard outside can see whatever is happening. The guard will peep from behind. Just like this. And see what's happening inside. In case people are fighting, in case they are being disorderly. And then they took us to the solitary confinement. Oh, goodness me. After this, I locked up. I couldn't continue the tour. It was just heart-wrenching for me. Anyway, I decided to take pictures and make videos in the less traumatic places. You know how I feel about pictures and videos. When I was done, I wrote my review and then the management replied me and said, thanks, I'm glad you enjoyed your stay in jail. <laughs> it is well. 